Hello everyone, my name is Zainab Qaimi and I'm a PhD candidate at Embodied Visualization Group, Monash University, Melbourne, Australia. And today, I'll be presenting our work, Drawing Connection, Designing Situated Links for Immersive Maps. In this work, we explore the design of situated links in outdoor augmented reality to connect features on an immersive map to their real-world physical reference. Maps are valuable tools for wayfinding, identifying features in the environment, and understanding the layout of the area. However, the abstract features on maps can be difficult to connect with their real-world features, and people may find, may find it difficult to understand the spatial relationship between a map and its surrounding environment. Augmented reality allows us to address these challenges by creating explicit connection between the map and physical context using visual links. Visual links can be useful for different applications. Here we have some examples. For example, in tourism, where tourists are not familiar with the environment, they can select point of interest on the map and quickly locate them um, in the environment using the links. Or in a smart agriculture, situated links can help farmers to quickly find the location where a sensor reported plants with health issues or area with critical humidity level. Or for in situ collaboration, instead of physically pointing at features in the environment, people can use situated links to indicate and share information about the specific features. Previous work has used visual links such as virtual arrows, 3D tunnel, and linear lines to help users to identify features in immersive environment. However, these uh, visual links are mainly designed for indoor use and are not suitable for outdoor applications. In outdoor environments, there are more challenges, especially when using head-mounted displays, such as color blending issue, background distraction, occlusion, and linking objects at long distances. Therefore, in this work, we explore the design of situated links to explicitly connect the information on the map with their physical reference in outdoor AR. We specifically focus on linking buildings on map with the real-world buildings, but the finding may have broader applications. In our application, users can see a virtual map and they can connect the miniature building to the physical building using visual links. In order to design the links, we first see the design criteria for our prior work. We conduct an, uh, an evaluation of different link geometries in a controlled VR environment. We then refine the design of the links and conduct a follow-up AR user study in real-world environment. And finally, we have some recommendations for the design of situated links in outdoor, uh, for outdoor AR applications. To design the link, we consider this design criteria. Situated links should have a minimum information occlusion, they should have maximum visibility, they should be easy to follow between virtual object and the real world object, and they should avoid moving objects in the environment. We design different link geometries considering different level of animation and simplicity, including 2D line, 3D tube, animated particles, animated 3D bird, combination of tube and particle, 3D moving arrow, 2D surface, 3D funnel, and 3D moving model. But we remove some of these geometries due to information occlusion. The path of links can be straight or curved based on the visibility level of the real-world target. For visible building, we use a straight path. If the building is partially occluded by other objects such as trees, the link is bent um, to move above the occluding object. For occluded or partially occluded buildings, if possible, link curve right or left to avoid bright sky and reduce vertical head movement. Uh, and for fully occluded building where the lens cannot curve right or left, they curve above the, the occluding object. Also in crowded environments, uh, links can bend upward to avoid moving objects such as pedestrian. To set the color of the link, we use the color contrast method. Uh, to achieve this, we first capture a photo of the background with a built-in camera in the headset. Um, then we consider a neighboring buffer around the link and calculate the average uh, color of the pixel in the buffer. And we, found, we find the color with the highest contrast and assigning to the link. Assigning colors to the link based on the background were to links with different uh, colors. The size of the link are small at the start and large at the end to increase their visibility at distance. 
In summary, our design includes various visual variables, including geometry of the link, animation, geometry of the pass, color, and size. And we will assess these variables through user studies. We designed a user study in VR to evaluate different link geometries. We recruited 18 participants and collected quantitative data, qualitative feedback, and ranking for different link geometries. We present participants with four different tasks. In task one, uh, one building was highlighted in the environment and the participants were asked to find corresponding building and map. In task two, we replaced a uh, map with uh, abstract shapes to prevent the participants from using their map reading skills to identify buildings. In task three, the purpose was to check if the links are useful in identifying hidden buildings. And in task four, we ask participants to activate multiple links and provide us with feedback. The result of the user study showed that all participants preferred using links rather than using their map reading skills to identify buildings in the environment. Finding buildings was easier and more accurate with links than without links. Participants did not like uh, using animated links when activating multiple links due to information clutter. Uh, they preferred simple and thin links to avoid information occlusion, and we could not find a significant difference between 2D line, 3D cube, particle, and cube particle in, term of in terms of preference ranking and accuracy. Learning from VR user study, we refined the link design for a follow-up AR user study. We recruited 12 participants and collected qualitative feedback on link path, color, visibility, and size. We replaced the particles with animated stripes to reduce information clutter and used the speed of animation to encode the distance uh, to the building. Participants could change the stripe color, they could add a stripe or change the stripe bits, they could change the end di diameter of the tube, they could curve the link uh, upward to avoid moving objects, And by default, we set the color of the links based on the background, but in the AR application, participants had the option to set a consistent color for all links. The result of the AR user study showed that participants preferred a consistent color for all links to avoid confusion. They preferred using animated stripe to improve the visibility. They like growing the diameter of the links with distance to improve visibility. They preferred straight paths over the curved ones, and they reported that moving uh, objects did not distract them from the links. Based on the result of the user studies, we recommend simple and thin links with the diameter of the links growing with distance, a single color for all links, unless we use the color to encode additional information, aligning the links within users' field of view to avoid uh, head movement, and using animated stripes to improve the visibility of links. For further information, we invite you to read our paper. Thanks for watching.